Hey gorgeous people, it's me again, Paul G, and this is my channel. having a food review! Yes! Narinig nyo, magre-review tayo ng tatlong pagkain na ginawa ng mga friends ko. And since mahilig tayo sa sweets, this will be a dessert edition! Yes! So to review these three desserts, we will be checking three criteria, which is PPT! Yes, parang PowerPoint na. So, the first P um, stands for presentation. Yes, to check natin kung yung serving pa niya ay maganda sa mata and kung uh, malaki ba or maliit yung serving ng isang dessert. Next P stands for price. Yes, to check natin kung affordable ba yung dessert na binibenta ng mga friends ko or kung justifiable ba yung price based on the serving na meron tayo. And then, last but definitely not the least would be the taste. Yes, to check natin. Very important to check natin kung masarap ba yung dessert na kinakain natin. So, I'll be giving uh, 1 to 5 stars. So, 1 as the lowest and then 5 as the highest based on the 3 criteria that I've mentioned about. Alright, so what are we waiting for? Let's start! Disclaimer, this is not a paid advertisement. I actually bought all the foods I'm reviewing plus I asked the concurrence of my friends to feature their food. In short, di po ako bayad dito. Okay? To get back to the video. So for our first dessert, we will be having the Decadent Choco Frost Cake by Miss Aina Vasquez. So Aina was actually my colleague uh, dun sa company na pinagtatrabahuan ko. Although right now, she's not anymore affiliated because she's focusing na on their family business plus yung pagbibig. So I'll be putting in the description box yung Facebook account ni Aina plus yung Instagram account which is yung Frosted Bliss underscore Manila. Um, so okay, let's start. To be honest, um, actually tasted na this cake previously um, but right now we'll, we'll try to review it again um, for you guys. So for the first criteria uh, which is yung presentation, if you can see, yes, parang ano lang siya, makeup tutorial. So for the presentation, um, medyo okay naman siya. Um, Look-wise, um, very presentable. And yung serving, malaki naman siya. So parang on my hand, sorry, wala akong ruler. Um, isang dangkal siya and medyo makapal naman. So in terms of presentation, I think I, can, I will give it as um, 4 out of 5. And then next natin would be yung price. Actually, this costs um, 220 pesos. So, I think very ano naman siya, affordable. And then, um, if we will check, malaki naman siya. So, I guess tama lang naman yung ikwen. So, for the price, I'll give it uh, 4 stars out of 5. And then, last but not, but, uh, last but not the least, um, yung taste. 
So we'll try to open it. So makita nyo naman, very um, chocolatey yung cake niya. And actually, you don't need na a knife to cut the cake kasi medyo malambot naman siya. Okay, ang pangit ng slice ko. <laughs> okay. So, Actually, yun nga, as mentioned kanina, natikma ko na siya. Taste-wise, very much delicious. And, lasang-lasa talaga yung chocolate. Tapos, yung cake niya, sobrang lambot. And, parang na nga siya nagbe-belt sa mouth. So, in terms of taste, since, alam mo I mean, it's my second time already ordering this, I'll give it 5 out, five stars out of 5. So, in total, I think this um, Decadent Choco Frost Cake meron siyang 13 out of 15 stars. So, sorry, correction lang. For the presentation, I should be giving 5 out of 5 dito kay um, Decadent Choco Frost. So, that gives the cake a total of 14 out of 15 stars. So, for our next dessert, uh, we will be reviewing yung Fudgy Chewy Brownie by Jordan B. So, this is the product. Yes, tama pa. Parang makeup tutorial lang yung ginagawa natin so, Jordan is actually my childhood friend and neighbor. Kapit bayan namin siya. Ando na yung bayan. <laughs> Tapat lang namin. So, ayun. So, let's start with the review. Ah, sorry. I will be putting yung Facebook account niya in my description box. And, um, although, right now, I think with, um, he doesn't have yung Instagram for this product. So, you can just message him on Facebook. So let's start. So first, um, presentation-wise, since um, it's actually homemade, so it's very basic um, brownie na nasa microwaveable. And um, in terms of the size, um, sobrang sakto siya dun sa um, microwaveable na lalagyanan. So having said that, I'll be giving it 4 out of 5 stars. Um, next, we have yung price. So this, um, my, well, this serving actually cost 120 pesos. So that means parang 20 pesos each kasi 6 pieces siya. And um, I think it's, I mean, price-wise, I think okay naman siya. Very affordable. Kayang-kayang bilhin. And um, yeah, I mean, I think, um, Di naman siya mahal. So, I'll give it 4 out of 5 stars. And then, next, we'll have the most important, yung taste. So, let's see if it will live up sa name niya na Fudgy Chewy Brownie. So, when you bite the brownie, very chewy nga siya. Um, Yung parang chocolate sa ibabaw. It gives yung oomph dun sa taste. Plus, yung sa loob niya, very rich yung chocolate. So, sarap siya. For the taste, I'll be giving it ang ingay po ng tricycle. <laughs> May pumasok ng tricycle, napaka-ingay. So for the taste, I'll be giving it 5 out of 5. So that brings yung total stars ng Fudge Chewy Brownie 13 out of 15 stars. So again, if you want to order, um, you can just message Jordan in his Facebook. That's a uh, Facebook link that I'll be putting in my description box. Alright, so for our third and last product, um, we will be reviewing yung Cachetti's Home Baked Goods which is technically mga cookies. So this is actually made by uh, Christina Maliari. So Christina 
was my high school classmate and um, I'll be putting yung um, Facebook account niya in my description box as well and also yung Instagram Okay, ang ingay po yung motor so I have to stop but yeah um, I'll be putting the description box in Facebook account niya and yung Instagram which is Kasheri's Home Baked Goods. Um, you can just uh, message her if you like to order. So, yeah. So first, let's see your presentation. Um, I think in terms of presentation, um, I'll put it forward para makita niyo. It's actually very nice. Meron siyang parang customized box. And andun din sa gitna yung name nung um, product niya. So I think in terms of um, presentation, it's 4 out of 5. And then next would be the price. Um, actually, yung order ko kay Christina was customized um, based on my preference. Um, but I actually don't know how much yung per box niya. So I cannot review right now yung price. But you can just message her na lang uh, in terms of the price. Kasi um, yung box kasi would, would have parang 6 cookies. But kasi I, I actually want to try yung different products niya. Meron siya actually 3, three types of cookies. But I, I didn't um, order yung parang 6 per, per type of cookie kasi medyo madami siya. So... Well, yon, I, I asked him, I asked her personally na lang to customize my order. So, price, uh, no rating for now. And then, next would be the taste. So, so as mentioned kanina, there's three products dun sa cookies niya. So, this one is the first. Um, this is a chocolate chip cookie, pero thin, thin yung, yung cookie. And this one, I think this is the cream cheese cookie. So, mamaya, um, hatiin natin para makita yung cream cheese sa loob. And then the other one, this is actually similar dun sa kanina. A chocolate chip din siya, but this one is the thicker version ng chocolate chip. So, let's start with, with this one. Um, okay. Very chewy siya, very malambot. Yung tamis, tama lang. So, very nice cookie. Especially when you're, you know, for dessert or like merienda. Bagay siya sa kape. And then, let's try naman yung thinner version ng chocolate chip cooking. So, I think, size-wise, yung difference lang yun dito sa thick. Medyo malak, well, maliit si thick, although, kasi ito thinner version niya, so definitely dapat mas malaki siya. Okay, mm, consistency wise and texture, similar naman siya dun sa thick. Pero, parang mas lasa siya dun sa thinner version. I mean, yung cookie mas nalalasaan mo. I don't know. Baka sariling preference ko. Okay. And then last would be yung cream cheese. Tingnan natin yun lang. Ay, walang. Kala ko may laman. But yeah. Tingnan natin. Mmm. Pag iniwa mo, kala mo walang laman. Pero... Malalasahan mo yung may halap talaga siyang cream cheese sa loob. Yung mismong, I think yung dough, yung paggagawa ng dough. Yung naluan siya ng cream cheese. Yes, kala mo baker. Okay. So in terms of taste, I don't know. Um, Siguro dahil sobrang may rigaw sa sweets, I'll be giving it 5 out of 5. So, I guess, overall, uh, the Cachetti Home Baked Goods 
Okay, aso naman ang maingay ngayon. But I think overall, since we'll, we'll have lang two uh, criteria, which is yung presentation plus the taste. So, overall rating would be 9 out of 10. So, we'll be removing yung price muna kasi I don't have the price for, for the goods. So that wraps up our food review for this um, episode. So just to recap, the three desserts that we we had, or I had rather. So for the decadent chocolate frost cake, um, I am giving it a 14 out of 15 stars. And then for the fudgy chewy brownie by Jordan V, I'm giving it 13 out of 15 stars. And then last. Uh, but not the least, yung Kasheri's Home Baked Goods, which is yung cookies, I'm giving it 9 out of 10 stars. Okay, so I guess that's, that ends our video. Um, this, this will be my first time saying this. Um, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. And please comment down below any suggestions that you would like me to feature in my succeeding videos. And then don't forget to click the subscribe button for you to be updated in my future vlogs. Alright, thanks guys! <music>